on the topic of instant gratification, um, probably my favorite, if I can just read a little passage from your book, this is um, the most frequently used word in the marketing of mediocre foods is crave. Mediocre foods are ones that people suddenly and desperately want. The need to fulfill this type of desire is why many fast food restaurants stay open all night, satisfying customers who saw a commercial at two in the morning during a rerun of a competitive dating show. Likewise, prior to the era of streaming, record stores stayed open until midnight to sell the latest albums by Eminem and Britney Spears. Until quite recently, many movie theaters stayed open until midnight to play the latest installment of a comic book franchise. However, there has never been a midnight premiere for a movie wherein Anthony Hopkins wears a top hat. And restaurants which stay, all, and restaurants which stay open all night are not selling a lot of buttered peas or green salads after midnight. The creators of gleefully ephemeral things have no respect for time, and thus mediocre things are not meant to be enjoyed at a proper time of day. There is no right or wrong time to consume something which was made to be obsolete in 12 months. It must be enjoyed soon, now, quickly, before our interest in it dries up. The desire for mediocre things is not governed by reasons, by reason, which is why mediocre things are the ones which are sold in the dead of night through the window of your car. The purchase of a fast food chalupa can bear an eerie resemblance to a purchase made from a drug dealer. <laughs> it's just a it's just a great point. I mean, connecting this this question of time with mediocrity. Um, you even have this this great essay that I read recently on this. I think it was on the Cersei Institute website, or maybe it was somewhere somewhere else. Um, about the idea of creating like a quasi liturgical calendar for your film viewing throughout the year. Right. No, for sure. Yeah, that was very yeah. interesting. Yeah, I um, I think I that was sort of something that developed um, unintentionally. I would say somewhere around six or seven years ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it wasn't something that I set out to do. It was it was one of those uh, was well, become a kind of like lowercase t tradition of watching certain films at certain times of the year, and uh, and I realized that I that I was doing this kind of before I decided that I wanted to. Uh, it, it was more like a recognition that this kept happening. And as soon as I, I recognized that it just kept happening, uh, I realized that the movies that I was watching on particular days of the year or you know times of the year uh, were my favorite movies. And so I was rewatching them, but they were also like becoming my favorite movies because I had this time set aside every year to watch them. In the beginning of that, I, I always like to be very careful about how often I indulge in my favorite things. My favorite album of all time, of any sort, is George Winston's December. And I only listen to that record between Thanksgiving Day and New Year's Day. I will not listen to any of it any other time of year. Huh. Um, and that's, a, that's a, you know, a way of sort of acknowledging that I have, a, I have a problem with overindulging in things that I like, and overindulging in something is the fastest way uh, of getting sick of it. And there are these things that I really love that I, I don't ever want to get sick of. Hmm. And so the only way that you can keep yourself from getting sick of those things is by, you know, very carefully moderating your consumption of them. Right. Um, anything that you love, you can grow to hate if it becomes tiresome to you. Uh, but it might right. become tiresome if you just milk it for all the pleasure it's worth over and over and over again until right. it's absolutely dry of meaning. 